Okay guys, so the video recorded but my audio didn't record until four minutes into the video. So I need you guys to really listen to me carefully right now, okay? What I'm about to tell you is very important into this glitch. So at the beginning of the video, I explained you need two controllers, two accounts. One of them has to have gold. Of course, that's your main account that you want the weapons on. So you're good. Second thing you need, you need to play campaign on your main account. You need at least to be level like i don't know what the least level was but i was level nine and i didn't play campaign that much so you need to at least play campaign so what i want you to do is to exit out of cot just exit out of cot go on your dummy accounts controller your dummy account controller is going to be on the left your, your main account is going to be on the right so with your dummy account controller that's the controller you want to start up black ops 2 with three that's the controller you want to start up black ops 3 with once you can start it up, you're going to go to custom games. All right. Once you go to custom games, you're going to add on your main account. Make sure that your second account is the host of the lobby. Once you're in custom games, you're going to follow what I did in the video, which was on my main account. I went to set up game. Once I went to set up game, you go all the way to edit game rules and then edit class presets. And you're going to go to the CUDA. Once you go to the CUDA, you're going to clear everything out. Just go to perk one. Equip the afterburner and press A on the afterburner after you equip it so you can see all six of perk one. Once you do that, make sure your main account and your second account are added with each other on Xbox Live. You're gonna go to your second account. You're gonna double tap the home button, the Xbox home button, so you can show the menu with all your friends. You're gonna go to your main account once you join the game of your main account, you're going to spam A on your main account. What that's going to do is equip Adderburner over and over and over and over again, and it's going to glitch the screen. If it doesn't work the first time, like me in a video, it didn't work the first time, keep trying because it will work. Once you glitch it, you're going to press B on the secondary account because the secondary account is the host of a lobby, host of the lobby. So you're going to press B. Then you're at the multiplayer menu. You're going to go up one time and you're going to be at the public match menu. Then on your main controller, you're going to press B one or two times. For me, it's two. For others, it's one. But I pressed it two times. That way you can see all custom, all of your custom classes. Once you see all of your custom classes, just pick a class that you want the DLC weapon on. Once you pick that class, go to the lethal. Once you're at the lethal, hover over the frag. Okay? Now, you're going to go back to your second controller, your second account's controller. Since you're at the plug and match menu, that means you're going to have to press B one time to go to multiplayer and another time where you can see campaign, multiplayer, and zombies. You can't really see the screen, but the way that I kept up with this is in the top right hand corner, when the levels show, it's multiplayer. In the campaign, you'll see different types of levels and zombies, you'll see different types of levels. That's, what, that's how you kept up with it. Also, the, the way that I kept up with it as well is on the right corner of the screen where the orange uh, little highlighter thing is where you know that you're about to click something that should always be your dummy account okay now you're at the campaign multiplayer and zombies menu you're going to go up one time and you should be at campaign you're going to press a on campaign okay if it's a new account then you have to choose a gen or anything like that but after that you should still have the afterburner screen up and since you already picked your lethal, you should have your lethal up, actually. Sorry. So, after you have your lethal up, okay, you're going to see something that's unlocked with an unlock token that you can unlock. For me, it was the Simtex. So, you're going to go to that thing that you can unlock, which for me is a Simtex. So, I'm going to refer to it as a Simtex. I went to the Simtex. I pressed A on it until the screen popped up. Unlocked, unlock and equipped, cancel unlock or something like that keep that screen up okay now you're going to go to your second account you're going to press b so now you should be at the screen campaign multiplayer zombies you're going to go back to multiplayer so you're going to go down press a and you should be at multiplayer once you're at multiplayer you're going to press a now you're at the multiplayer uh public match screen excuse me you're at your public match screen once you press a again it should show up core uh hardcore and bonus that's how you know you did it right you're gonna press b 
so you can get out of that screen. You're gonna go down one time, press A, and you should be at create class for your secondary account, your dummy account. You're just gonna prove you're gonna you're just gonna choose a random account, press A on it, go to primary. Now, the only ones that work is the top six. So if a DLC weapon isn't in the top six of that category of weapons, then you can't get that DLC weapon. But in this video, I explain how to get the Peacekeeper for those that want to get the Peacekeeper. In this video, I got the Banshee for this glitch. So you're just going to go to that weapon that you want. Make sure it's the top six. You're going to go to that weapon that you want, okay? Now go to your primary, your uh, main account controller, which has unlock, unlock and equipped, cancel unlock you should still be at that screen you're going to go to unlock you're going to press a on it now you should see uh some guns in the background or something like that you're gonna with the d-pad or the analog stick it doesn't matter you're gonna go left and right you should see the picture of the gun in the right hand corner change okay for me it was shotguns so you're just going to keep on going until you see that dlc weapon that you want you're going to press a on that dlc weapon now you're done Okay, you can press B out of everything. You can go to create class and then you can um, see that it's in your lethal slot. With this, you can have mule cake. You can have four guns at once. It doesn't matter, guys. Also, if you want attachments on the weapon, you're going to have to have primary gunfighter. And for me, it was the Banshee. So I would go to primary gunfire and my secondary slot, I would choose a shotgun. Since uh, the Banshee and a regular shotgun that's been in the game has the same attachments, you're just going to put the attachments that you want on a Banshee on that shotgun and you're good. So now, if you're still confused, since this, uh, since my audio came in at the four minute mark, uh, you can go to four minutes on this video or since this audio recording is actually over five, four minutes, you can go to the part where you can actually start hearing the audio. The glitch is the same process until the end part when you're at the campaign. From there, that's when the Peacekeeper glitch kicks in. But most people want the Peacekeeper, so you're good, all right? So that's all I have to say for now. When this audio ends, the audio that the Peacekeeper audio will pop up, the four minute mark will pop up. For this, it'll probably be like um, seven minutes or something like that, I don't know. But thanks, thanks for watching, guys. This is Golden J. Please leave a like, comment, subscription if you enjoyed. Also, add me on Xbox. I only play Xbox. You can see my gamer tag in the game right now. Add me. We can talk. We can play some games. We can record together if you're a YouTuber. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I am freaking amazing. Peace. See the syntax right here. You see the syntax right here is now open. My controller just went off. So, is it back on? It's back. Okay, it's back on. So, now you see the syntax right here. You're going to do what I just did. I press B to make sure my controller was on. You press B and you press A again. I'm in campaign. You press B and A. Now you see the syntax. It can be unlocked. You press A on the syntax. Now it's hovering over unlock. All right? So, now that it's hovering over unlock, my controller just went off again. Okay, my controller went off again. I don't know if you heard it, but now that you're hovering over unlock, what you want to do is go on your secondary account, right? Your secondary account. We're at campaign right now, but we have to go to zombie. So you're going to press B one time. Now you should be at the menu that says campaign multiplayer zombies. You're going to go down two times because you were at campaign, so it's hovering over campaign. I know you can't see it, but you just got to trust me. Go down two times. Press A. Let it load a little bit. You see in the top right hand corner, it's a little faded, but you can see the zombies levels right there. Now we're at the top bar of zombies. We have to go to weapon kits. To get the weapon kits, you have to go down six times. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Press A. Let it load. We're at weapon kits. From here, you just want to go to secondaries. From here, you'll see the Bowie knife. Don't press anything right here. On your main account controller, remember, the one that's controlling unlock, unlock and equip this one, you're going to press unlock on this one alright you're gonna press unlock once you press unlock do not press anything yet you're gonna go back on your secondary controller that's controlling where the bowie knife is and stuff like that you see I'm going up and down the bowie knife you're gonna press B alright once you press B you're gonna press B again and now you can see right here this is the um, this is my main account right here see 
this this is controlling the main account right here you're gonna hover over to rk5 now you're gonna go back on your secondary account the secondary account look on the left hand corner you can see this is hovering it's uh, highlighting this right here you're gonna press B again so you can get out of zombies now that you're at zombies we're gonna go to multiplayer so you're gonna go up one time and press A alright let it load you see the multiplayer stuff right there now you're gonna go up Actually, you're not going to go up because you're already hovering over it. So now, we're going to go to Plug Match. Once we're at Plug, once we're at Plug Match, we're going to go to, Jesus, people join me. We're going to go to Create Class here. Once you're at Create Class, you see the Create Class thing is up and everything like that. We're going to go to the, let me see here. Actually, you're going to press A on the Peacekeeper. Press A on the Peacekeeper. There you go. Look at that. Now we have a Peacekeeper in our lethals see now we could just back back out of everything okay now I'm on my um I'm controlling this with my uh, my primary I go to create class you see everything's there look at that that's the class we just got a peacekeeper on that's a peacekeeper right there now there's an easier one to do but you can't do the, you can't you you can't get the peacekeeper with it so now it's the same it's the same method custom games um, add your primary account you're just gonna do the same thing over it that you did in the first uh, CUDA clear everything out you're gonna go to afterburner now you're gonna go to your secondary account you're gonna join your primary account now here comes the spamming AA just spam it over sometimes it doesn't work the first time sometimes it does work the first time just do it over right there let's highlight it or whatever it's called play game and then work the second time see you just got to keep doing it over and over again and eventually it will work let's do it again play game and okay it worked so now we're just going to do the same thing over custom games we're in custom games right now we'll press b on our secondary controller second account press b go up two times player match now go back to our primary controller press b press b now we're just going to go to the class that we want whatever we want on it so let's just choose the um let's just choose this one right here and i'm gonna clear out all of this you don't have to clear out every single thing but it, you know you could just put it back anyways so again hover over a lethal now we're at the public match menu so we're going to go back on to our secondary account that's controlling this right to the left of the frag that's controlling that b on it now we have multiplayer b on it again go back to campaign let it load once we're at campaign again, you'll see that this syntax is highlighted. Don't press B yet. Well, we're not going to press B yet at all, actually. We're just going to keep it on this one. We're going to use this syntax this time. So we're going to press A on it. It's hovering on our over unlock. We're going to go press B on our secondary controller now so we can get out of campaign. Go down one time. Go to multiplayer. Let that load up. Okay, it's loaded. Now we're going to press A again. Now we're at the screen that's... um where we press a one more time we get to the score streaks or the where is it where is it we get to this once you get to this you're gonna press b because you don't want to actually go in there so you're gonna go down one time once you get to that screen so you can go to create classes now we this is where you choose whatever gun you want the way that this glitch works it's the first six guns so let's count now one two three four five six any of those guns you can get right there in that slot so you can't get the uh, mp40 because it's not six guns same thing with assault rifles you can't get any three of these because they're not six guns shotguns the banshee is the fifth gun you can get the banshee light machine guns you can get that one snipers you can get both this also works on secondaries so you can get the marshals and the rift you can get the l4 siege you can get the first one two three four five six whatever um lethal melees that is you can get the whatever that is as well so we're going to use the banshee in this example you're going to hover over the banshee now with your primary account that's um uh, controlling unlock unlock and equip and cancel to unlock you're going to press unlock and then you see the screen in the back right here you're just going to go left and right left and right left and right until you see the banshee you see i see the banshee right there so you're just going to go up, down, left, right until you see the Banshee right there. So once you see the Banshee, you're going to press A on the Banshee on your main account. A. Look at that. Just got the Banshee for free. Look at that. Was it that hard? No, it wasn't that hard. Look at that. Let's go back. Let's just make sure. Scroll down. Banshee. Look at that. Scroll down. Where is it? The Peacekeeper that we just got? Peacekeeper right there. Now, if you're wondering on the Infinite Ripper... 
and the two specialists in one game just do the same process as the process that I got the peacekeeper with now you see when I clicked on the war machine I believe that was called no it was the um the annihilator I clicked on annihilator and I got the peacekeeper so you're gonna go back where you actually press a on the peacekeeper you're gonna go to the left instead and it's gonna give you this heat wave here all right to use the infinite with with uh, ripper you're gonna equip the ripper and then go in the game wait till heat wave and ripper are up at the same time and then you're just gonna use your ripper after that the game will think the heat wave is a ripper and since you haven't used the heat wave you can use a ripper over and over and over and over again now for the double specialist it's the same way but the only one that's infinite is the ripper I know it sucks out I, I wish I could just use the infinite purifier but same thing whenever one is charged up you could just use it instantly you can use the heat wave and then use gravity spikes right after each other right a millisecond a millisecond right after each other so that's all for this video guys thanks for watching i hope that you enjoyed if you enjoy please leave a like comment subscription on this video and there's one viewer watching my twitch stream right now i have no clue how you got my twitch account but what's up i hope you're doing good all right thanks for watching guys this is golden jay and i'm out peace and that will be the end of that youtube video but for you guys watching twitch right now hello and goodbye